we don't see spot as just thermal and acoustic inspection. We see spot as something more of a tool that we can use for other applications. And we're just starting to explore that and see what can we do in collaboration with Boston Dynamics to make spot even more useful for our factories. My name is Roger Breitz. I'm the Vice President of Digital Manufacturing for Nestle Purina Pet Care. Uh, I've been in the role for about two years and I lead our digital transformation journey. Our goals are to provide pet food to cats and dogs worldwide um, that's nutritional and well-balanced and will keep them safe and healthy. We saw value in the use case for acoustic compressed air leak detection, but probably more importantly, we saw a future well beyond predictive maintenance that we felt um, would help us continue to improve our processes at our factories. So SPOT was chosen for this application basically because of our environment. We're able to put SPOT into situations where things are a little bit tighter and that relieves a lot of bending, a lot of movements, and a lot of strain on the human body. And then we go ahead and charge him and he would just keep going and going and going and going. Our environment is very unique in that it has a lot of staircases in order um, to get to the places we wanted to inspect, um, as well as it's really expensive to outfit all of our devices that we wanted to inspect with a, an IoT device. And so we found Spot as a unique opportunity for us to kind of cover more ground than we were already doing with some of our IoT devices, as well as we have a lot of really small opportunities for improvement rather than these just big giant gaps. Our vision for SPOT is to be an autonomous element out on our factory floor uh, that integrates well with, with humans, but starts to eliminate a lot of the manual intensive and maybe ergonomically challenging uh, activities that we've done for the past 30 to 40 years in our environment. Automating these inspections is gonna be huge for us. So SPOT is able to make it easier for a preventative maintenance technician to do his job. The biggest vision for SPOT that I've had here is to be able to free up another guy. If we're able to have SPOT out on the floor, walk around, take our thermal readings, take our air checks, now we have one more man, two more men, three more, however many it takes, out on the floor to be able to correct these things. If we do that, that allows us to put out a better product and it allows us to be better overall as a company. SPOT is better suited to the preventative maintenance activities for us because we, we don't have enough people to do these routines, as well as it can be pretty mundane. There's a lot of things um, to do within a factory. There's a lot of fires to put out on a daily basis. So getting to that bottom of your list and getting to your PM schedule is not always something that it's either exciting work or it's something that people even really have time for. We do thermal inspections on non-critical equipment and we're also doing acoustic air leak, compressed air leak detection emissions. Uh, in terms of missions, we have 30 plus missions that we're using SPOT for right now between thermal and acoustic. And we have SPOT running it every hour on the top of the hour. Um, he is doing specific thermal inspections on motors, uh, bell housings, gearboxes, um, and then he is also doing air leak detects too. Um, early in our deployment process, one of the biggest, I guess, aha moments we had um, was actually one of our motors on top of one of our dryers was heating up. Immediately when, when we were running the routes and we found that inspection point, um, I took the picture, captured it in the scout, and I sent it to our preventive maintenance tech. In the case of SPOT, in the case of freeing up that manpower to be able to work, if SPOT can find these issues for us in between our changeovers, in between different production runs, we're able to catch those issues ahead of time that allows us to be more you know, predictive, more preventative rather than you know, reactive. Right now we're actually expanding into our processing area as well as adding more routes in the packing. And even today when we were mapping, we found air leaks. And every time it's kind of a little moment of an excitement where you're like, look, Spot's doing his job. We're getting ready to deploy another Spot to a factory out on the East Coast, um, similar environment. Um, but then we, long-term plans, we plan to have every one of our 20 plus North American sites to have an individual Spot, starting with predictive, but again, if you fast forward to three to five years down the road, I envision Spot doing a lot more than acoustic you know, air leak detection and thermal inspections. We have a lot of potential use cases we've shared with Boston Dynamics and we're excited about where that's gonna take us.